I know a lot of you must have come across the latest updates about Finland like it's everywhere on YouTube, wherever you turn to, whatever page you open, move to Finland, visit in Finland and a lot more. I also know that a lot of people have been left confused with the different informations out there that is most of you are finding it very difficult to understand the different pathway to move to Finland. Reason why in today's video I would be explaining to you guys in a simpler language how to move to Finland, through what means to move to Finland, through what pathway and occupation to move to Finland. To be honest guys, I know when there's too much information about a particular thing, this might get people overwhelmed. That is why I took the time out to make a proper research about moving to Finland before coming here to post it on my channel. So if today's video interests you, or if this video seems like what you'll be interested in, then keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Amazing returning subscribers. I love you all, I appreciate your support. Thus far, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. And if you're coming across my channel or my face for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Clara Joseph. In this channel, I post videos such as job updates, visa updates, tips to move abroad generally, no matter where you want to move to, UK, US, name it. I am your replug for that. I take my time to research constantly on this. So you want to consider subscribing and also give this video a very big fat like. And as you do so, may God bless you. The truth is that Finland is currently facing extreme shortages in skilled workers. Statistic has shown that 81% Finnish employer is finding it extremely difficult to get the correct talent to fill up the job vacancy. What does this mean? This means they're finding it very difficult to get staffs who meet this key to fit into their company. And the Finnish government has made known to foreign job seekers that workers are in high demand in Finland. This is to say, if it's your interest to move abroad through a job offer, then I think you should really consider Finland because they really, really, really need workers. They are in high shortages of workers. Reason why the government introduced the visa a new scheme to bring in foreign job seeker, foreign workers into their country to help cover the shortages that they are currently experiencing right now. As of 2023, it has been recorded that about 68,000 plus workers are needed in Finland, which would enable them meet up all these high demand skills, which will enable them meet up the staffing in Finland. And these shortages is mostly in the Eastern part. I'm going to explain this. Now, you know, most countries have the Eastern part, Western part, Central part, Northern part. So these shortages now in Finland is not everywhere in Finland, but only in the Eastern part of Finland. I'm going to be giving you guys a full demo of the communities and regions under this eastern part so when you start your job search you will know for the community of the region to look out for now i explain this in detail to let you guys know you can't just go to the finnish government website and start applying for jobs in all community or in every community you come across there are some specific communities specific regions that need this worker another question most of you will be asking clara what are the jobs in the shortages right now what are the jobs that are in high demand right now or rather what are the jobs that are highly needed right now in finland like most country which i would say there is something called the shortage occupation list the uk has it a lot of countries has it for the finland they also have it now the number one shortages in occupation that the finnish government or the finnish resident and each country is facing is the transportation and logistic what does this mean? This means if you are into transportation or logistics, this is the right time to move to Finland. It has been recorded from my research that 92% shortfall of staff under this industry, under the industry of transportation and logistics has been taken note of. 
this is to show you that they desperately need workers in that certain occupation another occupation is the communication occupation also medical they also need researchers healthcare professionals it and data and also engineering now the most important thing to take out for this video is the various pathway to finland there are different pathways to finland that is you can't just move to finland and say oh i want to move into finland as a nurse i want to move into finland as a medical doctor i want to move into finland as an engineer on that one same visa no there are various pathway to move down to finland just like uk for an instant uk has various visa type various routes and various pathway they have the skilled worker visa and a lot more so for the finland there are also various pathway i'm going to be listing this to make it more easier for you all to understand so the various pathway to finland number one highly skilled pathway that is if you are highly skilled professional you can move down to finland under each visa category they also have the residency pathway that is you want to move down to finland through a residency means to stay in finland as a permanent resident they also have the seasonal worker pathway that is you are moving down to finland on a short period of time to do seasonal works needed for that period of time they also have the medical pathway that is you're going into finland as a medical professional guys i know now you'll be grasping and understanding these various means to finland which a lot of you i know sincerely do not know of or must have been left confused from the various information out there there's also another pathway to finland called employed work permit now that is what caught my interest when i made a proper research about moving to finland this employed work permit is a particular pathway that allows skilled foreign workers into finland to do some certain jobs i'm also going to be listing the jobs under this pathway now the employed work permit simply states you're coming into finland to work through a visa sponsorship means that is to let you know you are being sponsored by a particular company who has given you a job offer to come into Finland to work. So this pathway, the number one thing you must take note or you must do is to get a job offer. Just as the name states, employ work permit, you must get a job offer. Like it's very necessary you get a job offer. Through this pathway, you could move down with your family. And guess what? Finnish language is not a problem. This means even if you can speak Finnish or not, it's not a problem. They are ready to hire you even with that. There are jobs readily made available for those that could not even speak Finnish language. And you could simply get these jobs on different job websites, like the normal website or the usual website you've been using to search for jobs in the UK, such as Indeed, Lindy, Glassdoor, which is my favorite to search for jobs in Finland. You could also use them to start searching for jobs. Visa sponsorship jobs, that should be your keyword when looking up for such jobs. You could also use recruitment agency. Simply put, a recruitment agency is a third party who helps sort for workers for employers. That is, this recruitment agency stand in the gap of searching for workers those who are willing to come into finland to work for those companies who are looking for them now you could use recruitment agencies such as manpower you could use recruitment agencies such as barona to search for jobs you could use recruitment agencies such as finn award i would be leaving all the names so i would advise you guys to grab your pen and your book and start writing as you are watching you could also use a deco to search for jobs in finland these recruitment agencies actually have a lot of job vacancies display on their website for foreigners to move down to finland i also know very well that a lot of you are not foreign to all of this recruitment agency i just mentioned today most of you must have been using this recruitment agency to do your job search to uk that is most of you must have been using this recruitment agency to look for jobs in uk another question i know most of you would be asking is clara okay you've taught us this pathway to finland called the employed work permit what are the jobs under this pathway to finland what are the jobs needed under the employed work permit 
the jobs needed under the employed work permit are such as health care, medical professionals, health care, health care assistant, nurses, a lot more. There's also engineers are being needed under this pathway to Finland. Construction workers are also needed under this pathway to Finland. That is, construction work has been put under the eligible jobs in this pathway to Finland. Retail assistance is also needed under this pathway. However, guys, before you get a job under this profession or occupation, there is a but. This is before any company recruits you or before you get any company to sponsor you into Finland through the employed work permit, those companies must go through something called the labor market testing. What does this mean? This means this company must have been assessed by the Finnish government to see if indeed they have looked around Finland and couldn't be able to sort workers before they are licensed to go outside of Finland to recruit workers into Finland. So they must pass through what we call employed work permit before they can recruit you. This is to say you cannot get any company to sponsor you who has not passed through that processes the labor marketing test also guys before you get any company to sponsor you into finland that company must be willing to pay you the salary range now there's a salary threshold that has been stated by the finnish government for every company to meet before they recruit foreigners and this amount is 1133 euro before they are able to recruit you so this is to let you know before you get any company or before you move down to finland as a worker your company who has given you this job must agree to pay you at least the minimum wages stated by the finnish government if you successfully get a company who is willing to pay you such amount and who has also passed through the labor market test then the next thing is to start gathering your documents and the most important document you need is your international passport a valid international passport you need that you also need two passport photographs you need evidence of your energy b your police clearance with this pathway to finland I do not know for sure if you need IELTS. I've made research upon research looking for a place that states on the Finnish government website that says, oh, workers who are looking to come into Finland needs to meet some certain English requirement or so. I have not seen. I've spent quite a number of time making such research and we have not seen. But I strongly believe that since Finland is not an English speaking country, they wouldn't be looking for workers or people who speak English before they can move down to their country on the work permit, on the job offer system. So I hope this makes sense to every one of you because I know most of you will be leaving a comment asking me, Clara, do they need our health? Is our health needed? You might want to go and do your own research about that. But from my own research, I haven't spent a lot of time looking into this. I have not seen a place that stated our health is needed before you acquire a job in Finland. Now, once you gather your documents, once you've gotten an employer and the rest, the next is to start your visa application. And starting your visa application is quite easy and I would be making a full demo for you guys as usual, explaining this in details. To start your visa application to Finland is simply by going to the Finnish government website called Enter Finland. With that, you are asked to put all your personal details, your age, employment history, and a lot. So guys, why not stick with me while I show you guys a full detail, a full demo on how to do this in a more simpler step. So guys, this is how the website look like. This website is strictly for applying for visas in Finland. Remember, we are talking about the employed work permit visa in Finland. So I'm going to be giving you guys a brief demo on how to use this website when you come here. So when you come to this website, firstly, you need to create an account with them. You would be prompted to create an account with them. Afterwards, then you will 
be taken to the page where you fill in the application form. So this website would only be needed once you've secured a job offer with a Finnish employer. So once you secure the job offer with a Finnish employer, that is when this website would make sense to you. So after you've created an account, you fill in the application form where you put all your personal details, the documents, you put in your passport photograph and every other requirement I talk about in the video earlier on. Then you also put in some attachments that have been required, just like the job offer documents you got from your employer. Then you would be requested to pay the application fee, the processing fee. Although most employers would be the one to pay this fee for you since it's a visa sponsorship job. Then afterwards, that is when your employer would receive an email from the Finnish government and they will pick up the rest. So guys, I'm going to be showing you how to create an account with them. So all you need to do is come to where that icon is and click on create an account with them. So you have two options here on how to create the account. Personally, I would go for the email, creating an account with the email since it's the more easier way. So you have to put your first name, last name, date of birth, email address, and phone number. Regardless of where you are trying to access this website from. Now guys, remember this website is not a job seeking website, but only a visa application website, online visa application website. So guys, when you create this account, then you fill in all the required documents. I hope this makes sense to every one of you. Now, once you successfully fill in all those details that has been asked of you from the Finnish government website that I just showed you guys, all you need to do is sit back and relax. Once you have successfully not the keyword successfully, that is your application, there's no mistake, you fill in the right information on the lot, your employer, the company who gave you the job would receive a message from the Finnish government and from that they would pick up the remaining process. And with that guys, you are ready to go into Finland. So from the explanation I've given to you guys today on the pathway to Finland, most especially the employed work permit pathway to Finland, you could tell the requirements are so low, the requirements are so low. So if you really want to move abroad, why not take a look into this? Why not consider moving to Finland? It might just be for you. You might just be lucky. But then again, it is one thing for me to come here and preach about Finland and say it like it's so easy to get a job offer. But the truth is that everything requires patience and hard work. Once you put in the hard work by searching for jobs, going to various websites, going to various job platforms, seeking for jobs, then I think you are likely to come across employers willing to give you a sponsorship into Finland. As we talk about this, I'm going to be giving you some tips in getting a work permit to Finland and getting a job offer to Finland through a company. The first is creating a well-presented CV. Guys, I cannot overemphasize on that. And also note, you cannot use a particular CV to apply for various jobs in Finland just as you cannot use one CV to apply for all the jobs in the UK. Let's take for an instance now. I want to move to Finland as a healthcare assistant. I cannot use that same CV to apply for jobs in... I cannot use that same CV to apply for jobs in construction work. I cannot use that same CV to apply for jobs as a truck driver. I cannot use that same CV to apply for a job as a retail assistant. This is to let you know the key to getting a job anywhere around the world as a job seeker from overseas is by creating a well-presented CV. With this, if you are looking for a professional CV, a well-written CV that enables you to get a job very fast abroad, then you can book for me to do that for you and I would make you a well-written and professional CV in less than two days. I would be leaving the link in the description box 
so that you can easily access that link another tip i'm going to be giving to you guys is your cover letter now one mistake i've noticed from a lot of you job seekers is that most of you create cv forgetting the cover letter your cv and your cover letter goes together they are brothers and sisters if you want to move abroad faster you need to present your cv wise bringing out your cover letter so you can't just apply for a job with your cv and after having applied for 50 jobs you keep wondering why is it that i'm not getting a job offer why is it that no company has called me why is it that no recruiter is looking into my site this is because it might be that your cover letter is what is putting them off maybe they are waiting for a little bit of writing on the cover letter to give them more reasons why they should call you for a job interview possibly even give you that job so this is to let you know that those are very important another important tip i'm going to be throwing out to you guys is that you should sell yourself now you guys will say clara has come again what is sell yourself are we products or markets that we want to sell when i mean selling yourself don't just apply for jobs on the finish um job seeking platform and just sit i would always advise go to these people email i always say the same thing with all the jobs i post here and there go to that email say yourself give them reasons why they should consider employing you give them reasons why you are the right candidate for that job and bet you guys if you implement all the tips i've said to you guys today trust me you would find yourself in finland in less than three months and also from my research i have discovered that finland also have a fast track visa now they just come out this year that they need workers the finnish government just came out this year 2023 not too long ago i think about april to state that they are in high demand of workers now since they are in high demand they will do everything to make sure these worker visas are prioritized are fast track to bring them into the company the organization the country very fast to start work and also to cover the shortages in occupation guys what else are you waiting for with all the preaching i've come here to preach about finland today this is to let you know that this is the right time and right opportunity to grab it do not wait until it is everywhere do not wait until it becomes very competitive before you start the processes be the first partaker be among the first people to get this opportunity to finland with this being said if you also need a personalized assistant maybe all i've said here today you are still finding it very difficult or very confusing to understand then you can book a section with me where we discuss we sit we have tea and talk for an hour on the best opportunity to finland and i explain and break down everything to you in a very simpler way to understand very well so guys book a session with me the link will be in the description box for you to do that do not forget to give this video a very big fat like as you can tell i have gone all out to make a proper research before bringing this opportunity to my channel so please support me by giving this video a very big fat like and as you do so may god bless you also subscribe if you still haven't subscribed what are you waiting for join the family and be part of the team also guys turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss any new videos and opportunity i post here on my channel for now let's call it a day see you guys in my next one i love you all bye bye